to destroy the country or the economy, however you want to look at it, this is, the, the, whatever, you know, the, the favorite word of millennials, statable. And we as a society down the road are going to be faced with some really, really serious questions. So, more unavoidable answering some of these questions. And I don't mean to be speaking cryptically. Characteristic for me, I'm speaking safely here. Um, I may, I'm, I'm trying to dance around this, but, but, but this just can't go on like this. You told me yesterday, Rush, what do you think that the recovery will look like? It blew the answer. How many shows did I miss in a row? I was in such a fog, I don't even know. Was it five or six? My absence was not a vacation. I mean, I was not staying informed as I was away because I was not capable of it. So getting back yesterday was getting the voice back up to up to shape and shape it in gear and, and uh, getting my, my brain back up to speed and engaged. Wait a minute, that's, that's not true because it's going to take what to roar back? It's going to take money. It's going to, it's going to require people having money to roar back. And the longer this goes, the less people, the fewer people are going to have any money to uh, ignite the economy. Now, don't misunderstand, but it, you know, the guy wanted to know, is it going to be massive but all at once? And I said, no, it won't be that. It, it's going to be, it'll, it'll be phased um, stages simply because uh, even if that magical day comes where, where, where somebody says, and well, who is it going to be? Who is going to say, okay, folks, go back to work? Trepidatious. Because all of this, all of this is based on one thing that we don't have. We don't have a vaccine for this. We don't have a vaccine. He said that the, he was giving his, uh, his, his daily briefing to the people of New York widespread quick test to determine who's got coronavirus and who doesn't, that will determine when people go back to work. Well, that would be great, but I don't know if that's true. But there's no vaccine out there. Um, and, and a vaccine is not, folks, a vaccine is not on the horizon for at least a year. Now, zithromycin is the most promising thing until there is a until there is a vaccine but a vaccine that's what separates the coronavirus from flu we've got vaccines for it we know the mutations medical reality i mean you have the economic reality this this, this can't go on i mean how how many people want to see the united states economy destroyed required to prevent that from happening well, people going back to work it's going to be things reopening without a vaccine what that exposed people to Serious, serious question. All I know is that what, what's happening now cannot go on. This business of shutting down until the end of June or the end of July and then putting people in jail if they leave their homes, which, what, Governor Maryland said that? That's, that, that's not sustainable. That, that's not, we can't. But don't, you know, you, you come Mr. Sturdley here with a little prof note saying that the Jicons are back to work. Don't believe a damn thing coming out of there. They've already food at the Chinese at the Wuhan wet market. I am not. They say that their number of cases is declining. And, and of course, the, the, the Chinese economy is getting back. But the Chinese government is so different. We don't know what they did to make this possible. 